we are back. So the Columbus Crew lose 2-1 to CF Montreal, formerly known as the Montreal Impact. Uh, this was I watched this game, you know, in its entirety, and it was it was a bit frustrating to watch, especially at the end of it. Lucas Celarion scores at the 14th minute. Uh, you know, you get a goal early for the crew, especially at home where they seem to be struggling. And against a team that you want to catch in the standings in uh, CF Montreal, you really want to, you know, get started on the right foot. And the crew did. And then the game kept going on. It, there were limited opportunities, let's call it at that. Uh, the game was rain delayed again. Maybe that had something to do with it. Uh, so it looked like the crew game might get rained out again. Thankfully, that did not happen. Well, lightning doubt it, actually. They don't care if there's rain. But if it's lightning, then they, they have to call it or delay it or whatever. It got delayed till way late. The game was still going on at, like, you know, into, like, 11 o'clock when it started at 7.30. Not, not 90 minutes plus a halftime for sure. And uh, Kai Kamara ties it. In the 88th minute, of course it had to be him uh, off of a header from a corner. Uh, you know, that blew the lead. And at this point, the crew were essentially playing not to lose. Really, their only offensive opportunities came, uh, you know, from like cheeky counters and just trying to catch CF Montreal off guard or aggressive, which can work if you're defensively good enough to play that way. But the crew have shown time and time again that they are not that good enough defensively to hold a one goal lead for an extended period of time, you know, playing not to lose, playing essentially prevent defense and not really trying to force any sort of offensive pressure to score at all. This has happened over and over again. Something something has to give. Either Caleb Porter has to change how he manages these leads or he has to or he has to go. That that's that's the two options. Uh you know, Caleb Porter, of course, he led the team to the MLS Cup a couple of years ago. And since then, the talent has stayed essentially the same. I get last year they were a little dinged up. This year they brought in Cucho Hernandez uh, from from Watford. And he came out and was a ball of fire immediately. And him and Lucas Delarayan have essentially been the crew's offense since then. You, you know, who else is contributing consistently offensively? Uh, Etienne had a couple goals, I, I believe, in Cucho Hernandez's uh, debut. So that was nice. Uh, but besides that one game, where has the crew's offense come from that hasn't involved Lucas Delarayan or Cucho Hernandez? It hasn't come from anywhere. And th they've contributed offensively in the past. So it, it doesn't make sense that the only thing, this like, do all the players suck now? It, is this whole offense just inept now that, you know, besides him and Cucho, uh, Zellerayan and Cucho, is, it, is everybody else just bad now? I, I don't understand. And then Joel Waterman. Uh, in the literal last minute of play, 90 plus 4, there was 4 minutes of stoppage time added on the end. Uh, finishes the choke job for the crew, so they, they won't even get a point out of it. You should have had 3 points. You had you had 3 points with about 7 minutes left in the game, and uh, you, you blew it over the course of 6 minutes. So, g good on you, I guess. Good on you for that. And it's just, it's just frustrating. Cucho Hernandez did have kind of a chance to ice it in the 80th minute. Uh, again, one of those cheeky counters attempts actually did work. Uh, it was a header, I forget from who, to like the midfield. And Cucho Hernandez had it on kind of a breakaway. Uh, I will credit the Montreal defender kind of forcing a bit of a rushed shot. But when you're Cucho Hernandez and you have that kind of opportunity, you hope to bury it. Montreal's goalie also was in a pretty good position to make a nice leg save. But you, you kind of looked at Cucho Hernandez's face afterwards and you realized that that's probably one you, you think he should have gotten in. It, it was a bit of a tough goal, but, you know, we, we got you to pay you to finish those tough goals. And while that, you know, the, the loss isn't on him for that, obviously. It's just kind of one of those bad omen things where that happens. You have a chance to go up 2-0 and ice, the, and ice the match and you don't. And you just kind of get a bad feeling like, oh, that's going to come back to bite you, isn't it? And, and yeah, it did. So very frustrating game. Uh, the team is technically still in a playoff spot, but honestly, it does. They don't feel like they're playing play, like a playoff team right now. If the playoffs started right now, the crew might be in it, but I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't put money on them doing anything. Uh, you know, at, at the very least, the silver lining is we can end this bullcrap about the nine-match unbeaten streak because you actually look at the results over those nine matches, and they're not very impressive. There's a few wins in there, but there's a lot of draws. Some of them against, you know, better teams on the road or whatever, but uh, just as many of them against teams you should have beaten or in games where you had a good chance to get three points and you didn't. 
so this team has been very frustrating to watch as of late. The Cucho Hernandez thing was fun when he came in. He's not gonna. He's not. He can't score a goal every single game. That's not gonna happen. And when that happens, again, it's been when Cucho Hernandez, you know, isn't playing like a like a golden god. And Lucas Zellerayan, he had a, he Lucas Zellerayan Ryan had a goal in this game. So it's not like he wasn't contributing. It's just that he got subbed out because they're still managing his minutes. So when when one of them isn't there and the other one isn't playing like his hair is on fire, what is this team? This team can't score. And this is at home too. There were fans who stuck around for that rain delay, however long it was. And they were just, why do they, they stuck around to watch you blow three points down the drain. Uh, unbelievable. Thank you all again for watching this video. If you liked it and you would like to see more, please feel free to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think about, you know, the crew, this game and the crew's chances of upcoming in the season uh, in the comments below. Thank you all again for watching and I will see you at the next one.